It's time. Let's talk about ChatGPT for virtual assistants. ChatGPT is this open AI that's crazy smart. It can do almost anything you want it to do in seconds. In this video, I wanna talk about a couple ways that you can use it specifically for your virtual assistant business. First and most obvious is that you can use it to help you with certain tasks. So for example, if your client says, I need you to make me a spreadsheet with this data, you can actually plug this data into ChatGPT and ask it to turn data into a spreadsheet. Or a client that might ask you one day, hey, I need some help planning an anniversary date. And they tell you they want a romantic dining place and they want something fun to do after dinner. All right, so here's my prompt. I basically just gave it this really vague, like give me some date ideas, I need a romantic restaurant, I gave it the city, and then I want something to do afterward. So I'm not even kidding, this is chatting with me live. <laughs> like it's giving me romantic date suggestions it's telling me why. Um, so what you could do after you give it a prompt like this is, or what I would do, is copy this suggestion and we're gonna Google it and we're just gonna see what, look at this cozy Northern Italian great reviews. Holy moly. Um, yeah, that would definitely be a suggestion I would give to my client. And uh, you could Google things like the Botanic Garden, find out what time they're open to, talk about a carriage ride through downtown Denver. So task requests are um, a definite yes as a VA. So use it as a jumping off point for your own work, for your own research. Um, it's especially handy if you, you know, are looking up date ideas in a city that you've never been to before. Another way you can use ChatGPT is to kind of social proof your own emails. Um, this is especially handy if you're not a native English speaker or you want to make sure that your emails are sounding more professional or you really want to convey um, something and writing is just not your strong suit. For example, let's pretend like you have to give a client bad news. Uh, I'm going to pretend like I didn't hit my deadline on time and I now need to tell my client that I didn't get their task done and I need a little more time to get it done. Now I might be struggling to find the right words. This word chat GPT comes in and they can help me craft a professional email that hopefully is something that I can use to help make my own email sound a little bit stronger, a little more confident. So let's give it a try. Okay, so here's my prompt. Help me write a professional email telling my client that I missed their test deadline and I will give them their results tomorrow. Okay, here goes chat GPT. I like this. It even gives me a subject line. Okay, so delay in submissions, telling me, dear client, hope this email finds you well. There's been a delay in the submission. Fortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm unable to meet the deadline that we agreed upon. I understand the importance of this task. Okay, so um, something like this is great. I probably would make it a little more personable. I wouldn't copy and paste this exact email because it does sound pretty dry, pretty uptight. You are a human being. Your client is a human being. You want to discuss these things like a human being to your client. But what I would do, I'd go over to my email and I would paste it into my email and then see how I could make this a little more personal. Now, tasks aside, you can also use ChatGPT for your own business. Um, you can ask it to do things like write 10 tweets about the benefits of using a virtual assistant and here it goes it's writing me 10 tweets that i can use to help advertise my own virtual assistant services and not only are these great tweets but these could also be the basis for future videos that i make these could be instagram stories tiktoks youtube shorts any of this that they're pulling up is helpful. It could help me better understand how to market my services to people. But I asked for tweets, it gave me tweets. So in this case, all we would do is copy this particular tweet. We would go over to our Twitter, uh, paste that bad boy in there, and then schedule it for a day in the future. One of the last things I'm gonna ask it to do is cold pitch clients for me. So let's say I'm either a new VA, I don't have clients, or I have one or two clients and I'm looking to add more clients. Cold pitching is not something I usually talk about on this channel because it's not something that I like to do. That's because I don't always know that they're super effective, um, especially if you haven't researched people before and you're blindly online just being like, hire me, I'm a virtual assistant. That doesn't work. 
All right, so I just hopped over to Twitter and uh, Googled some key phrases. Um, I need to hire a VA. And this guy popped up. I need to hire a VA. Uh, looks like he's hired one before and it didn't go well. Um, what I would do if I want to cold pitch this guy is I would go to his profile, click around on his links, see what he's all about. So he works at this story sells. Okay, he's about marketing and brand management. I would do my research by reading through his tweets. I would see what things he's passionate about. Um, and then I would put those details into chat GPT. So let's just see how this goes. Let's see what kind of email we get. Wow, this thing is fast. It's already writing. Dear Danny, dear diary, I hope this finds you well. Okay. So again, I would take this particular cold pitch email and use it as the basis for my email. I would copy this and like I did in the previous example, put this into my email and then I would do a couple things. A, I would make it more personable. I would fill in more details about my skill set, my niches, maybe how it applies to Danny a little bit more. Maybe I have a background in product marketing and that's why I understand his business so much. But you want to take this basis of this cold pitch email. Um, it already very nicely breaks down uh, who you are, why you're reaching out to Danny, and then um, ends with a call to action of I want to talk to you about working together. Um, overall, very good cold pitch. This is a good basis for you to make it personal, make it your own, make it a little more tailored so that it makes more sense for you and for the client that you're emailing. So these are just a couple ways you can use ChatGPT to not only do tasks for your business, but also grow your business. And if you guys have not yet used ChatGPT, check it out today. It's completely free. Um, it's so good that I'm pretty sure in the future this tool won't be free anymore. So make sure you're using it while it is free, while you still can. And if you've already used ChatGPT, PT, tell me how you're using it for your business, because I, I want to know what makes it so great in your opinion, what makes it so good for your business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on next week's video.